Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Uh, the last time I played this game, I hadn't quite finished up the different endings, so I thought it was time I should get back and mess with this narrator some more. So, I'm going to load up... Oh, geez, don't look at when I last played. <laughs> let's, let's go. Yes, there we go. Loading. Loading. Oh, here we go. I remember now. All right, we're back. What? Is this okay? Boy, it's been so long since I've been in my office. I forgot. What's over here? What? How are you supposed to reach those filing cabinets? Come on, Stanley. All right, it's eleven. Well, that's not real time, obviously. And we can go back in. We can shut the door. And we're out of there. Okay. All right, so... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley what decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley oh. looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I, tu I turned off the computer. I turned off the computer. I'm not a ghost. <laughs> I think there's there's something with if you do mess around with like enough computers or something that oh yeah here like oh, turn them <laughs> turning them off. <laughs> oh yeah. What? Whoa whoa. What is going on here? Awaiting input. Input received. Nice. I am productive worker. Username access. Boop. Sorry. Uh, it crashed. You lost your work. Stanley went around touching every little thing <laughs> in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> there we go. We're now we're getting a rise out of him. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a that's a dead end. Oh, I can close doors. Oh, I can open that one. Wow. That's the, oh, man, that one. I guess doors that I can walk through, I can close. Yes, I'm. Dang right, I'm gonna touch every little thing in the office. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, um, let's go through and um, let's. No, oh, it closed. All right, I'm gonna go up the door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow for a little bit here, but um, I think we can go through and get. To like yet there was not a single person here either feeling a way um, there's, there's of disbelief, the, the mind control Stanley choice decided at the very to go end up to his boss's office hoping he might find an answer there let it bulb inside you take it out passive aggressively and other co-workers resent co-workers for not supporting you more <laughs> that's how to solve a dispute <laughs> has a slick blue graphic in the header oh check and it throws some bevel on all text this one should a calm and effective work environment nice you most of all. All right. I glanced at so much. Oh, broom closet. Oh, I'm... no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Narrator. Oh, man. I don't see. I, I I did glance. I I slightly, very slightly spoiled myself at, to get an idea of how many different endings there are. Um, and I I there's some kind of I don't know if this is an ending or or what, but something to do with the broom closet. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, I forgot all about this one. What if I go downstairs? Yeah, let's go downstairs. I, I like feel like I chickened out on this one last time because it's scary down here. 
Oh, it's like a whole letter down there. I wonder if I, I can't zoom in or anyway. Uh, fire hose. I got the fire hose out. Oh, there's a car. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that <laughs> risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Ah. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment yeah, for you're, no you're reason crazy. at all. None of it made any logical Exit. sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange One, two, observations. Three, four. For example, why couldn't he see his feet <gasps> when he looked down? Oh my gosh. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh my gosh, you're and right. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. <laughs> and at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. <laughs> this is all a dream. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't oh, going to lose his never job. Ending. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. <laughs> so this. he imagined himself flying and began to gently float. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm flying. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so Whoa. much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all <laughs> entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why What's is going there on? a voice in my head dictating everything <gasps> oh that I'm gosh. doing and thinking? Now the Why voice was describing it? itself being considered by Stanley. He <laughs> found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? What do you mean it's not was a dream? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if oh he's my asleep, gosh. he doesn't have this to take This is really going on and on. <laughs> Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the <laughs> well, voice not see him float to make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. <laughs> okay, okay, we're going to prove it. this was a dream. This dude, he's losing it so now. This is... I'm going to end his loop. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, ah. the press of the mattress on his back, ah. the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm how, through how with about this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. <laughs> Let me continue pushing the buttons. Pushing the buttons. Please. I must push the buttons. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife Wait, he has a and wife? my job. All I want is my life exactly the That's way it's That's the first I've heard of a been. wife, Stanley. My life is normal. I am normal. <sighs> Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Oh. I am okay. <laughs> His voice shakes it. Oh! <laughs> Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone oh my tell gosh. me I am real. Oh. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone oh, hear no. my voice? They're going to explode. Am I? Am I? And everything went black. <laughs> oh, nice. This is the story of a woman named oh. Ariella. What? 
Mariella woke up on a day like any other. What? She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town <laughs> talking and screaming to <laughs> Is himself. Is that Stanley? Then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered oh. the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. <laughs> Everyone knows what crazy Everyone people knows look what like. Crazy look. And in yeah. that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Uh oh. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. <laughs> it was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she oh, remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that that's day. That's great. Very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down oh, the body. Oh, poor Stanley. And then With she his... turned and ran. Oh, she turned and ran. <laughs> nice. Nice lady. Nice. <clears throat> All right, we're back in the office. So, um, oh, that took a little while. That was a, a long loop through those, that endless loop down there. So, uh, yeah, I'll cut this here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, I'm going to do another episode of this right away, knock out a couple more endings. So we'll see what other craziness we can get up to in here. This is, this is just great. This is a very, like, relaxing and entertaining uh, game to play. So I'll uh, catch you all next time.